Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, I'm just uh, gonna show y'all a little preview of what I've been working on, my uh, 2016 Dodge Grand Caravan uh, camper conversion. Um, this is a work in progress, so I re started it very, very recently, and uh, I've been thinking about a lot to do, and uh, how it's gonna work out, and the layouts and everything. And for a no build, so far, I think I'm pretty satisfied. Um, there's a lot to it, uh, so I'm just gonna get straight into it. And um, we enter right here. This is pretty much what it looks like. First view, um, pretty basic uh, cot in the left side of the van. Um, nice little memory foam uh, padding on top of it. So it's pretty comfortable and uh, lots of space to fit yourself. Um, I'm 5'5", five five, so I don't really have much of a problem. Um, I think six foot and up, you might struggle a bit, but I think you can still make it work. Um, as far as power, um, I go with a couple of solar generators. I have a Jackery 500 right here. Uh, goal zero 500 right below it and right at the very bottom the big one of uh, goal zero 1500 um, As far as power is concerned. I never really have a problem I currently have the Jackery going right now on top of the minivan with the solar panel. So um, It's currently taking in some power um, I play a couple video games um, sometimes and I do some work so uh, even with all that with the switch and the uh, laptop ipad a couple iphones i had i never really have a problem with uh, power and it's even powering a mini fridge in the back which we'll get into fairly fairly soon um nice little blanket right here nice and thick never really have a problem not have anything limbs hanging out or something anything like that um nice pillow memory foam as well cots are great because um you can store stuff underneath so i'm gonna lift this up right here show you what I got going I have a uh, food and drink storage uh, cans um, propane in case I want to cook stuff uh, condiments um, hygiene hygienic stuff right on this section clothes underwear socks um, wipes uh, just so th there's just so much to store and there's even more stuff back there I got a, a propane heater for the winter heating blanket for the winter and uh, charger for my vacuum uh on the very back there's a bunch of freeze-dried food for whenever i'm out camping on all that fun stuff um as we go inside here i'm just going to take a little seat and show you all around some more um i have one more uh solar bank uh goal zero 200 this is just to do some basic charging i never really stress much about keeping that charge out in the van i just take that inside and charge that manually through an ac it's um i like i said i don't really stress and uh it just keeps my switch charged and uh my uh, laptop my ipads while i'm here at home um when i'm away it's a different story that's when these bad boys come in but um uh th this is kind of a place where i kind of retreat to uh, it's kind of like my sanctuary i get to be alone think and do my work uh in my own enclosed environment and it's something uh, that is highly, highly important to me. But um got a Bible here because I love the word. As we take a look, this is mainly a nightstand right here. Um, I do have another table right here in the back that I will get into in a minute. But uh just keep my stuff here right next to where I sleep. And uh I've got a switch right here, controller. This is trash for trash can for trash. This right here is a bathroom. We'll go into too much details about that. Um, this case right here has a propane stove, so if I ever want to cook something, uh, I just hook some of those propane jars underneath the bed onto this, and uh, it lasts a fairly long time actually. So um, I mainly use it to boil water for freeze dry food, but I can like make a couple soups if I want to, and um, cook some decent amount with that. And whenever I'm working and uh, I want to actually play a game or something on the Switch, I just bring this table out right here where I'm already sitting and fold this out keep it right in front of me and it's pretty accessible pretty convenient and i'm uh, very comfortable just sitting right where i'm at right now with a switch on top of here pro controller playing or if i'm working i have my laptop if i'm eating i can just have the ipad playing a movie in the back and uh have my food right here and munch on it 
and uh, it's, it's just a uh, very very convenient very easy to put away to um, go ahead and just move this out of the way and then we'll get on with the tour like I said this is a work in progress I just so don't judge too hard I could use some advice in the future from like in case some other van life perhaps needs to run into this and uh, it's really much appreciated this is a passion of mine and um, I, I really love the outdoors I really love uh, camping in general and I just wanted to make this little project for my own um, satisfaction and even show it off as a bit of a um, prideful moment for me so back here right behind all this stuff I have a mini fridge currently being powered by the 500 Jackery doesn't take too much power it's currently it's currently off right now I have it set to 50 degrees it kind of maintains itself and then whenever it gets above uh, 55 it kind of turns itself back on usually pulls about 40 watts when it's on but right now since it's off it's only pulling 14 and that's with all my stuff charging like my other phone and um, so it doesn't really take too much power. My uh, solar gener uh, solar panel right now is currently bringing in 42 watts, so it's easily usually stays at 100% fairly easily. Right now it's 99, but it'll hop back up soon. As far as internet is concerned, um, that's what I have this bad boy right here for. Uh, this is an Orbic uh, from Verizon. Uh, it's very very good. This thing performs really well. Um, I'm very satisfied with it. I have a plan of 100 gigs a month, and uh, honestly that's more than i need uh with the, all the video game playing that i do all the streaming that i do watching movies um i'm only at 40 gigs with five days left in the plan so um i may even downgrade to a 50 plan but um 100 i'll be if i don't honest with you i'll cost like 40 dollars a month um with, with my current verizon perks and everything so it's really not that much um as far as the fridge itself, um, it's really good, decent space. I have my good old reliable DP in there. I have this little case in the back that just has condiments in case I get uh, just need some extra flavor or I get a little hungry. I have candy in the back uh, just to have a little something to snack on. Um, back here, I just have basic bags and uh, stuff in case I go out. A little bit more clothes, like a hoodie in case I get cold. A hat in case I get cold. And uh, this right here just has a little bit of extra electronics in it. Um, I think I've covered almost everything. I have a fan up here in case I get cold. Um, I'm, in case I get hot, sorry. I have a lamp back up here in case I need light. And I have my keys up here in case I need to lock the vehicle. Um, have a little cooler right here just to store some Taco Bell packets and stuff like that. Just some extra uh, condiments that I don't use. I'm very, very big on saving that stuff. And uh, um, I've got water and stuff under the bed that I won't. I'm kind of lazy. I won't go back there <laughs> and kind of get it. I got a ukulele in case I get bored and want to play. There's one more thing I will show y'all if I go around the other side of the van. Um, these solar generators, this one especially, is pretty huge. So one solar panel ain't going to cut it. As a result, I have 100 watt right here, 100 watt right here, a 50 watt right here, and a 50 watt right here. I have a lot more Goal Zero um, power banks. Then I do Jackery, so obviously I'm going to have a lot more Goal Zero panels than I do Jackery. Uh, however, you can charge a Jackery with um, Goal Zero panels. The other way around doesn't work, though. You cannot charge a Goal Zero with uh, Jackery solar panels. So just a fun fact in case somebody is a huge solar generator um, geek like I am. Um, and that's pretty much all there is. That's all there is to it. Um, I have these little blankets on the side, um, kind of tucked into the little creases back here in case I want some privacy. And um, yeah, I love it in here. Uh, it's where I kind of get away, as I, I talked about earlier. And um, uh, I appreciate y'all for watching this. And uh, like I said, advice is much, much appreciated. If y'all like this, please leave a like and. 
if y'all want to come uh, on some camping journeys with me behind your video screen then feel free subscribe because I do plan on doing more videos this is my very first um, so uh, like I said this is a huge passion of mine I wanted to uh, actually share it with the world now so I will plan on making more videos in the future but thank you so much for watching I hope you liked it and y'all take care